<clears throat> Chapter 5, Double Jeopardy. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the US president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim without... I think it's a mask. It wasn't altered in some way. Because Ahara didn't say shit not during the whole entire video. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and like, if you look the at the... Uh, the type of masks that the CIA and, you know, all these detective agencies and stuff like that and, you know, just um, intelligence agencies and all that shit, like spies that they use. Like all these masks, how real looking they are. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless... Only thing you can't really fake is a voice. From how he was positioned to but you can fake a person's looks ground. all day long. Every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. It looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirasaki Sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. Ah, let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? Well, if that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to Need to line the times up. Only Ahara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Sauri san then? Let's roll, talk. Yeah, I need to line all the times up when uh, Mikoshiba was killed. And, um. You know. There has to be an accomplice because there's no way that he can be in two places at once. Unless the time was faked. I had to scratch my nose or else I could have avoided him. Double takedown. Really, guys? What is it? What you want? Whenever you eat checks mix by the handful, it fills you up quicker. Now when you eat like each individual piece, it's like it just 
turns to bread like wet bread. It just disintegrates. For Salvi? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. Oh, so she's in on it too. In the case, that is. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now, especially the higher ups. I bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend's salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> sure. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia, you're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> In your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say. I miss this little banter. Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source and therefore useless as evidence. Why can they not they show it? Look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So they're not going to verify the video? Like the now part of his vid of the video, like, like where his throat, throat, throat is actually throat? being slit? Not after it was proven in court that I like it doesn't show it. It only shows the aftermath of I mean, the blood squirting from the jugular or whatever the fuck. It? Besides, there's no way Ahara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is? His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and... He'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why is that? Supposedly, 
They don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original Rumi. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ehara, <coughs> he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Hmm. Until recently, people were lining up to bring Ahara to justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain is going to need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold, all to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare ya? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking we're the only ones who could take a case like <laughs> this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Okay. Are you chan cuter than ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again? Eh? Yummy. How many times do I have to tell you it's not like that? Ba 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 ba. All right, where are we going now? Oh, we have to talk to Sayori. Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Ahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. <coughs> that was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force can be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. Shit's turning into a full -blown Unless there's someone on the outside Whatever it is, that contacts him. <clears throat> they go to the prison and they, you know, he uses one of his phone calls. Come on, there are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah, I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauri. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. 
Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. I'm going to do that one. But hold on. What if they're both real? Both his alibi and the video? In that case, let's start with the murder. After committing the murder in Ijincho, Ehara would have had 13 minutes to make it to Ikebukuro Station. Ijincho and Ikebukuro are roughly 30 kilometers apart. It's possible if he traveled 140 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Is it, though? Ehara would have had to change out of his bloody clothes. So we probably ought to shave those 13 minutes down. On top of that, he was traveling during rush hour. It just doesn't seem feasible. Okay, then let's rule that out. I'd say we're making some progress here, guys. <laughs> Boy, you're really reaching for that silver lining, aren't you? I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alley. I just thought it was the one on the right. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. I was no trying to choose the odd one out. ...to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify yeah, but you're also missing the fact as well that it was a woman who was groped, and it was also a woman who talked to Sawa Sensei and gave her a picture of Mikoshiba. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ehara's alibi doesn't hold up. <clears throat> Maybe this one? This part's still getting to me. The security footage from Ikebukuro Station shows Ahara arriving at the platform around 7.50 a.m. He just stood there for over an hour until boarding the 906 train. He was looking for a target, right? Yes, but Ahara says he was deliberating whether to go through with seeing his wife. After all, the two are separated. Could there be any chance this is an Ahara imposter? Uh-huh. Using the hat and shades to make it less obvious? Think about it. If Ahara had a double... He'd be free to murder Mikoshiba in Ijincho at 7.30. Then a few hours later, just past 9 o'clock, he swaps places with the stand-in and gropes the victim. I actually considered that possibility. But there wasn't an opportunity for any sort of swap to occur. None at all? See, I bet you there was. Multiple security cameras standing right by the victim as they board the train. And the camera inside the train car continues this unbroken footage. At this point, Ehara gropes the victim as proven by the trace elements detected. And once the train arrives at Shinjuku, Ehara flees the scene and is promptly tackled by passers-by once the victim calls for help. After that, he's brought into police custody and eventually booked into jail. <clears throat> Man, I thought you had something there. A stand-in would have really fit the bill. Right? Since we're pretty sure Ehara had accomplices, why not assume one could have been his stand-in? As we discussed, there was no opportunity for any sort of person swapping to occur. The victim felt a hand reach up into her knee-length skirt, scaring her motionless for the full six-minute ride to Shinjuku Station. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya, 30 years old. A <sighs> wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. 
In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. <laughs> That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. Talk to Sayori. What do we gotta do? What place are we going? I'll kill some time. Okay, then. Or not. <laughs> huh. You think they want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito-san, there's more. Nah, it's just scare tactics. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda-sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say the batting cages is like literally right around the corner. 